The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. That's a famous story uh, with, with David Feinstein, where his father missed his bar mitzvah to go to the Aguda convention. He felt for Klai, so he had to go. And someone asked him, were you upset? And he said, no. No, because I knew my father loved me. And he said, how did you know your father loved you? He says, every morning he would get me dressed. And it was cold. I was under the blankets. So he would put my clothing on the radiator first to warm up. And then he would get me dressed under the covers. Says, my father was a god of You can imagine there were many chashuvim who came to our Shabbos Suda. But no matter who came, I always had my seat by my father's right side. He never kicked me out of my seat. And when we went to the bungalow colony, we didn't have a bungalow colony back then. It was like a farm, you know, you know, just to get you out of the heat of the city. And uh, there was nothing to do. There were no facilities, no day camp, <laughs> no pool. <laughs> the only fun thing is when the farmer would take his little cart and go into town for supplies. So all the children would jump into the cart. And that was like, that was their ride. It says, if I was learning with my father and he heard the tractor, he closed the Gemara and he says, go with the other children. Now, missing your kid's bar mitzvah is pretty dramatic, but it, he didn't feel hurt because there was enough deposits in the emotional bank account. I would be lying if I said nothing ever goes wrong in my life. Of course things go wrong in my life. Of course, we've had, we've had um, I don't want to say more than our share, but we've had our share of difficulties on all kinds of different levels, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. And uh, I'm able to weather them because I've made so many deposits in a Kurdish Baruch Hu's account because every day I look at at least three wonderful things that he's done for me. So when you have a sense of appreciation, your whole life is different. I live a blessed life. And I talk to people who are always sad and always nervous and things are so terrible for them and things are so difficult for them. You know why? Because they don't have anything good going on in their life. You know why? Because they've never stopped to look for it. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.